they're back in Australia anyway, and if we're lucky for one special event in Auckland. I'm talking, of course, about Split Ends and today's announcement that the band is getting back together for an Australian tour. Now, there is some talk of a brief foray into this country, but at this stage, nothing concrete. Tim Finn, Neil Finn, Eddie Rayner, Noel Crombie, Nigel Griggs and Malcolm Green, the True Colours album lineup, they are going to take to the stage in June for their first tour since 84. And in case you've forgotten, although I don't know how you could, here's the legacy they've left their fans. made their announcement at what was once known as the Reefer Cabaret Club. It is the venue where they band played a career-defining gig and that was more than 25 years ago. Well, we managed to grab uh, Tim Finn and Noel Crombie today shortly after their announcement and I asked them the obvious question, why now? Why now? Well, we did a, um, a performance recently at the ARIA, um, when they, Aria uh, induction evening in Melbourne where they inducted us into the Hall of Fame. And we played two songs, Poor Boy and History Never Repeats, and it was so good, so electric and uh, exciting. And though I think we've been sort of mulling the idea over for a while, but that was the night that kind of was the catalyst for it, really. We've played New Zealand twice in the last uh, 20 odd years, but we've never played Australia, so it was time, time for it. You excited about it, Noel? I mean, is it, you know, you, you're back, you're doing the music, it must be pretty, it must be thrilling. It's always fun to play with your mates. It's very simple, you know, and less and less depends on it, uh, apart from just having a good time. So, yeah, we're all looking forward to it, I think, and uh, I'll get another shot at dressing them all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you see, I can remember you guys, when you did dress up and, and sitting there, I think it must have been at the Mercury or St James or somebody watching. I mean, are we going to see that sort of performance again? Some caning. A bit of caning always goes down. A bit of caning, well, it was yeah. a caning at the Mercury, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. We brought out, uh, what was it, 20 boys? Yeah. Came the. It's something to do with that Catholic, you know, schooling. It wasn't of... my idea. <laughs> Noel's not a Catholic. Yeah, it's no. right. He's a pagan from way back. Yeah. An interesting comment, Tom, from Noel, though, that there's less and less riding on it. So, really, I guess you're freer now that you've succeeded in a way, aren't you? That's right, yeah. Um, Really, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's mainly for us, and then, you know, hopefully those who attend, it all rubs off on. They have a good time, we have a good time, and that's about the best you can expect, you know, or hope for. Who's going to attend? I mean, is it people like, like me who remember you from when you were first on stage, or will it be the next generation, or will, will it be all of us? Well, I hope it's a good mix. Yeah, we, we find a lot of, there is a new generation of fans coming through that check out the records, you know, and they just find them on their own bat and enjoy them. So I reckon there'll be a mixture of people from 50 down to three, actually, because I'm hoping my little daughter will come along. Well, that, that's a point for you, Tim, isn't it, with touring? I mean, you've got two, two young children. I guess that's a, that's a big factor in, the, in your decision. It's a huge factor because I'd really love them to see the ends play. And um, we did the Millennium shows where Harper, our son, saw us briefly at the Soundcheck, but I'd love them both to come to an actual show and see Split Ends. Uh, that would be important for me, yeah. Was Harper impressed with what he saw at the soundcheck? I guess he's used to you doing music around the house, though, isn't he, Tim? 
He is used to that. He's also he he became obsessed with the videos um, at a very young age, at the age of about three. He started watching all the videos through from Lovey Dovey and Sweet Dreams right through to the end of the band. And so he has kind of a warped view of his dad, but he's into it. He digs it. Now you're definitely touring Australia. What about New Zealand? Um, we'd love to. We, we, as I say, we've played there twice. We played in '92 and again for the Millennium shows. Um, we're sort of talking about it. Yeah, it'll it'll happen. We're just not sure when. There are rumours about Tim that the new stadium in uh, in downtown Auckland that you might open that. Is that a possibility? Those rumours are yeah, they're well founded to a point. Um, there is a possibility of that. Yeah, we're looking very closely at that. Yeah. That would be that would be quite an event, really, wouldn't it? I think it'd be, very, it'd be a good thing to do, but at this point in time, it probably needs to fit with the Australian tour some way. Um, so they're kind of linked. If they can get more steel, if they can stop those Chinese <laughs> from stealing all the steel. <laughs> oh, that's exciting, isn't it? And I guess you've got media crawling over you like anything today, haven't you? Yep, it's been pretty full on, but it's very good, good-hearted, and you know there was you know sort of embarrassing pauses like this can be at a press conference. But did you expect the level of interest that has been in Australasia about this? You never expect anything. We never did in the old days, but I mean, it, it, we're delighted. It was great. It was, there was a buzz. There was a, there was excitement there, and I think it's, the tickets are going to go. It, it says a hell of a lot about your music and your performance that you know all these years later, peop, you know that, that there is such a buzz about it, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's very gratifying. I mean, the songs live on, and the performance, the, the awareness of the performance. Yeah, people remember shows from 1975, 1974. They'll come up to you and say, I remember that show, and you just see in their eye that it really connected. So I think they'll, they'll be up for a second helping. Indeed. Not sure what the caning was about. Don't remember that one. Well, watch this space for details of that New Zealand concert as well.